So let's talk about what you should do after your new Google Ads campaigns go live so that you can have the most success possible on the platform. You can see this new campaign has only been running for maybe a week or so. And it's already starting to get some conversions, which is in part because we set it up the right way. Right? That's a big component. Uh, but also we're ensuring that it's collecting the data and we're not trying to interfere with what's going on in this campaign. So if we come over here to campaigns and we click on campaigns, I've also selected the campaign up here just so we can isolate this campaign and take a look at it. There's a few things going on here. First of all, we started with the maximize clicks bid strategy. Oftentimes Google is going to recommend that you start with something like maximize conversions, especially if you have conversion actions set up. It's not something I would recommend doing. It might prevent your ads from running entirely. So if your ads aren't running, if they're not getting any clicks or anything happening here, you might check your bid strategy and make sure it's set to maximize clicks, which is going to allow the AI that Google uses in their ads platform to go out, go out there and start getting you as many clicks as possible with the parameters you've set. So that would be like your budget, the keywords, targeting, all that different stuff, right? As it's going through and figuring out what it's supposed to be doing, you'll see this status right here switch from bid strategy learning to eligible. So the bid strategy learning status, you'll probably see that for the first five days or so. And assuming you start getting some impressions and clicks on the maximize clicks bid strategy, it will finish the learning phase where the AI has kind of figured out what it needs to do in order to get you the most number of clicks possible given your you know, constraints that you've set on your campaign. While it's going through the bid strategy learning phase, it's, it's, it's important to not touch anything major on the campaign. So you don't really want to be adjusting the budget. You don't want to be adding new keywords. You don't want to be changing the ad groups or adding ad groups or changing the ads or adding ads. You really just want to let it sit there for the first five, six, seven days and start collecting data. That's going to allow you to exit this bid strategy learning phase and get to a point where it's kind of leveling out. And hopefully you're starting to see some conversions and some data coming through here so you can start to determine how things are going to perform overall. And after maybe seven to 14 days, that's when you can start changing things in the account or in the campaign. So that's things like, you know, changing the keywords, adding keywords, removing keywords. But really for the first maybe 7 to 14 days, it's recommended that you're only making minor tweaks to the campaign. And predominantly what that means is uh, refining the search terms right that's that's going to be something that's not going to mess anything up and so if we come over here to insights and reports we're going to see this uh, search terms right here and if we click on that this is going to show us the actual terms that people are clicking on which is different than the keywords themselves that's important to note the keywords are going to be down here in the search keywords section but the search keywords allow you to show your ads on multiple terms that people search for on the Google Ads platform. And so by coming over here to the search terms, we can see the exact term somebody puts in when they click on our ad. So we can see car detailing near me is converting at 33% and it's gotten us two conversions. Conversions are costing under $10 and the return on that ad spend is pretty high. It's like 7x. So for every dollar we put into that keyword, we're getting $7 back. And that's, you know, pr that's pretty good performance, I would say. <laughs> so we like that. We like what we're seeing there. But, you know, with this auto detailing niche that we're advertising in here, sometimes you see stuff like car wash. You know, most detailers don't want to advertise over a term like car washing because car washing is going to be a very low ticket item. It's only going to cost, you know, under 50 bucks to get your car washed, whereas detailing is going to cost hundreds of dollars. And so we might want to come in here and 
add some of these search terms as negative keywords. So if you click on this, you'll see this option where you can add as a negative keyword. And then you can add it to the campaign or to the ad group. I typically recommend adding it to the campaign uh, so that it doesn't fire on other ad groups afterward. Um, but that refinement, you know, you're for the first, I mean, immediately right after your ads start running, I would recommend checking the search terms. Make sure they look good, right? If you start seeing stuff that looks off, like you're getting a bunch of clicks for in the auto detailing niche, if you're getting a bunch of clicks for car wash or stuff that doesn't look relevant, you want to start removing that right away. Now, because we've set this campaign up the right way, starting with exact match keywords, we're not getting a lot of stuff in here that needs to be removed. But adding negative keywords and refining your search terms doesn't necessarily impact the learning phase that your ads are going through in the first couple weeks of them running. And so that's the biggest thing to focus on initially is just making sure that your ads are showing to the right people. And then for the most part, staying hands off and letting the ads collect data. If you start seeing all sorts of wacky stuff, <laughs> you know, eh, then you kind of have to make a decision. Is it even worth continuing down this path? Maybe I should just pause the campaign for now <laughs> and <laughs> totally revamp the whole thing. But assuming you're setting it up the right way, that shouldn't really be the case. You know, you should be able to just monitor things, remove some search terms. What I mean by that is just adding them as negative search terms here. Uh, refine your search terms and then just let the ad sit and run and collect data. Analyze what's going on. You can start breaking down what's happening in each ad group. Start planning out what needs to happen, you know, what optimization might need to happen as time goes on. But assuming that you're already set to maximize clicks, you've exited the learning phase and your ads switch over to the eligible status, or I should say your campaign switches to the eligible status, then you're in a pretty good position to let the ads run, collect some data, figure out what's working, what's not. And then as time goes on, you know, you can start digging into the more in-depth optimization. But unless it's something you've been doing for quite a while, it's usually good to have a considerable amount of data to determine what's working, what's not. Because like, for instance, you know, detailing near me hasn't gotten a conversion, but it's only gotten two clicks, right? We probably want to have like 10, 20 clicks on this keyword before we determine if it's actually going to be a performing keyword or not. And it's, it's the, it all is based on the law of large numbers. So the more clicks you get on a, on a keyword or an ad or an ad group or whatever it is, the more clicks you get there, the closer you're going to get to the average uh, statistical value. So like if you're looking at the conversion rate, for instance, 33% uh, for this term right here, it may in the end, after we let this run for a while, it may end up being closer to 20%. But because we've only gotten six clicks, we may have been front loaded with the first couple of clicks turning into conversions. And then we're about to get like five clicks that don't convert and then one that does and then three more that don't and then two that do. And so you just need some volume of data in order to determine what's actually working and what's not. And you don't really want to start picking things apart and turning stuff off and <laughs> adjusting a whole bunch of stuff without having sufficient data to know exactly what's going on in the campaign. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.